So today's video is about exponents with fractions and decimals. So will we only see exponents that have a base that's a whole number? The answer is no. The base can also be a fraction or a decimal. Do we solve these problems differently than we solve the other problems that just have a base with a whole number? Again, the answer is no. The exponent still tells you how many times to multiply or repeat the base, even if the base isn't a whole number. So let's look at some examples. Our first example is we have 1 half to the fourth power. So we want to write this in expanded form, meaning we want to write out using repeated multiplication, what does this actually mean? What does 1 half to the fourth power mean? Well, it actually means 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. 1 half is my base, which is the number that's going to get repeated, and the exponent tells me to repeat it four times. Again, I have 2 thirds to the third power. What does that mean in expanded form? Well, it would be 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds. Even if my um, base is a decimal, like this one, 75 hundredths to the second power, what does that mean? Again, the exponent is still going to tell me how many times to multiply the base, and the base is still the number that's getting repeated. So 75 hundredths to the second power, or 75 hundredths squared, is going to be 75 hundredths times 75 hundredths. So in example two, we want to fight, write the following multiplication sentences as an exponent. So now we're going the other direction. So right now I have 1 fourth times 1 fourth. I want to write that as an exponent. Well again, 1 fourth is the number that's being repeated, so that's going to be my base and then it's being repeated two times, so that will be my exponent. So it's going to be 1 fourth squared, or 1 fourth to the second power. Here I have 6 tenths times 6 tenths times 6 tenths times 6 tenths times 6 tenths. 6 tenths is being repeated, that's my base. It's getting repeated five times. So the answer would be 6 tenths to the fifth power. Last example, I have two and a half times two and a half times two and a half times six. Now this one's a little bit different because two and a half is being repeated but then the six isn't. So I'm only going to use an exponent to show the repeated multiplication. So I'm only going to use an exponent for the numbers that are being repeated. So that means I will use an exponent for two and a half and I see that two and a half is getting repeated three times so that's going to be two and a half to the third power times six. And then the times six I just write exactly as it is because it's not being repeated so it doesn't need to be shown as an exponent. So then you may, ask, you may be asked to actually find the product of a fraction to a power. So the first thing you need to do is write the exponent in expanded form. So we have two-fifths to the third power which is two-fifth times two-fifth times two-fifth. Now we're going to multiply the fractions together by multiplying the numerators together and then the denominators. And I like to say top times top over bottom times bottom. So we're going to multiply 2 fifth times 2 fifth times 2 fifth. And so that's going to give me, on the top, that means I would be multiplying 2 times 2 times 2. And then the bottom, I will be multiplying 5 times 5 times 5. So if I start at the top with the numerator, I'll do 2 times 2, which gives me 4, and then 4 times 2 gives me 8, which means my numerator will be 8. Then I will look at my denominator, so I'll do 5 times 5, which gives me 25, and then multiply by 5 again, and that gives me 125 which gives me an answer of 8 over 125. So then my final answer would be 8 over 125. So let's recap. Back to the beginning. Can fractions and decimals be a base? And will it change how we actually solve exponent problems? And the answer is no. Yes, they can be the base, but it doesn't change what an exponent means. It doesn't change how you solve it. It just means that instead of multiplying um, a whole number over and over, you're going to either multiply a fraction over and over or you're going to multiply a decimal over and over. Don't forget to make sure you teach to the tiger before the video in, I mean, at the end of this video. Um, and I hope you learned something.